Lead code 570. Managers with at least five direct. Write a solution to find managers with at least five direct reports. Return the results table in any order. The result format is in the following example. This lead code question is classified as a medium, and we're going to solve this in both SQL as well as Python pandas, where I take you line by line. All right, let's start coding. So this is our example input. We have ID, name, department manager ID. You can see ID 101 is John, but then over here for 102 through 106, all these people report to John, which means John has five people reporting to him, which is why we have the final output with name and John. Um, so this is actually a pretty fairly easy question. Uh, one thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to self-join employee back to this employee table. Something I see quite a lot on these questions. I don't personally use it that often at work. Um, I guess every database is a little bit different. So let's start with that. So the first thing we're gonna do is a select on here. I'm not sure what I'm selecting yet, so I'm gonna put a select star. Next, what I'm gonna do is from employee, and I'm gonna call this E1, okay? And then I'm gonna enter join employee E2 on E1.manager ID. D equals e2.id. And the reason why I am doing that is I want the name of the manager to show up next to that manager ID. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is grab that name. So we're gonna get that manager name by putting e2.name. We're grabbing the name of the person, uh, which will be creating a brand new table. So Essentially, we'll have ID, name, department, manager, ID, and then on the side over here, we'll have uh, E2 name, which is gonna be that manager name, which is mapped to that manager ID. That's why we're putting this over here, and that's in our final output. Now, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to group by our E2.name, right? So the manager name, and the other thing I'm gonna group by is E1.manager ID. And the reason why I'm doing that is there was a test case that I failed initially because there was two managers that had five direct uh, reports and they had the same name. And I didn't have this manager ID and I got the wrong answer. So that's why we're grouping by this e1.manager ID. Lastly, we're gonna use a having, which is really nice. And we're gonna say counts greater than four um, because we want only have five or higher. There's a few different ways you could represent that. Um, God, I put five and three, not four. But that's how you write your SQL. So just to click run over here, just to make sure I have no errors and it's been accepted. This has been my solution that I also submitted and it's correct. So one more time, just to walk through this pretty basic code. Uh, first thing we're doing is a select statement. We're going to grab our name from this manager, uh, which we're going to create this join on these employees. Uh, but we're going to do a from, we're going to grab our employee table. We're going to call this first one E1. We're going to do a self join, which on this case, I did an inner join because we don't care about null manager IDs. And we're doing employee, again, I'm gonna call this E2 just to separate these on E1.manager ID equals E2.id. Again, taking a look at that input table, you can see ID 101 is John, and John has the manager ID for five different people on over here. Then we're gonna group by our E2.name, which is our manager name. And then we're gonna also get our E1.manager ID. And then we're gonna look for any time we have a count in this final table greater than four. All right, let's take a look at the Python pandas. So the first thing I'm gonna look at on here is doing a group by. So I'm gonna say grouped equals employee dot group by. And inside over here, we're gonna group by this manager ID. So manager ID, then we're gonna get the size. So size which is essentially a count, right? There's some slight differences, but we can use size in this instant. Then we're gonna reset the index. So reset index, because we're gonna build out a brand new column. In this column over here, we're gonna call it name. It's gonna say equals to reports, okay? And that's gonna tell you how many times uh, someone reports to this manager. Now, what we're gonna do is call a new data frame. We're gonna call this grouped filtered. So grouped filtered equals grouped. And we're gonna look inside of grouped we're gonna look for grouped, and we're gonna say our reports is greater than four. This is essentially our having that we set up on the SQL side of things, but we're gonna do this a little bit above. Now, what I'm gonna do is a merged data frame, and we're gonna say equals pd.merge, and the reason why we're doing a merge now 
is we don't have the name of the managers because we just have the manager ID and reports in this new data frame. So we need to map this manager ID to the ID of a name. In this case, we need to get our John. So what we're gonna do is merge two data frames. We're gonna first merge our group filter on the left. And then on the right, we're gonna group our employee. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is left on, and we're gonna call this manager ID. So we already have this over here. Let's grab that. And then right on, and we're just gonna put ID on here. So ID like this. And then lastly, all we need to do is return and we're gonna return our merge data frame like this. And what we're gonna do is just return name. And let me run this. And I actually do have an error on here. So let me just double check what I did. So we have grouped equals employee, reset index reports over here. Merge df equals pd dot merge group filter employee left on manager id right on id. Oh well, I forgot the extra set of brackets on here. That is why. Let's rerun this, and you can see it has been accepted. So one more time, what I'm doing. The first thing I'm doing is essentially my group by on here. I'm grouping by this manager id and then counting those. I'm counting it as reports. Up next, we're going to filter this. We're going to only look at where reports is for because it talks about managers that need to have at least five people. Then we're going to do a merge. We're going to merge our employee with this new filtered over here. That way we can get the name associated with our manager ID. And then lastly, all we do is return back that name. That wasn't too bad of a medium problem. I hope you guys are able to grab some value from this video. If you were, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload much more than just lead code questions. In fact, right now I'm working on a series on DBT as well as one that deals with OpenAI and Langchain. If you are studying more lead code questions for data science or data analytics, I have a full playlist down below and I'm expanding that every single week.